Hi, I'm Sale. I'm from Lena, and I'm here to show you how easy it is to run Linux programs on Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux using Lena. With me here today are Erica, who's a Mac user. Yes. And Bill, who uses Windows, right? A long time Windows user. Okay, so you guys probably don't use very much open source software. No, not at all. Well, I've tried ShareWell, but it doesn't work very well. Well, there's not much out there in open source land for Windows and Mac. It's easier for me because I'm a Linux user. Well, how does that work then when you need to get software? So a lot of what I need comes on my Linux distribution, like, you know, just the desktop and the web browser, stuff like that. There's some other stuff that comes with the Linux distro too that's really nice, like Office applications and a really nice image editor. But there's some things that I use all the time that don't come on my Linux distro. If I want to use that software, I've got to go online, find it, download it, compile it, and install it on my machine. So how do you do that? Well, typically you go online and you find the project and then you download the source code and then you configure it for your machine and compile it and install it. Usually it's not too hard. Um, sometimes there's kind of an installation nightmare. I think I'll stick to buying my software in a box. With Lena, you don't need to. How does Lena make a difference? Well, even on Linux, Lena makes a big difference because you don't have, it just comes as an executable. You don't have to compile it and install it and all that. You, you'll even have a little install program that comes with it. But I'm using a Mac. Well, that's the great thing about Lena, actually, is it doesn't just run on Linux, it runs on Mac and Windows, too. And when it runs on Mac and Windows, it looks and it feels like programs that are written for Mac and Windows. Wow. That sounds great. Let me show you how it works. I wrote a really simple image application for Linux, and what I'm going to show you is how I can get it up and running on this Linux machine um, without any compiling or anything like that. Okay. okay. I have an install file for this program right here on this memory stick. I'm going to put it in the machine here and copy the file to my download directory. Now we start Lena with the Lena-s command. Okay, now we just run the lena install command on the image.lena file and we'll have the image program installed on this machine. It's pretty straightforward. I'd say somewhat straightforward. When I buy software, I, I just install it and by sticking it in and a box pops up, tells me what to do. Well, we'll have that part done pretty soon by the time we release the source code. But meanwhile, this is still a lot easier than a regular Linux install. So, let's run the image program. So starting it up, and ta-da! If you look at this, it looks just like all my other Linux programs. When I open a file, I get the GTK Linux file selector. I have this little X up here in the corner. It looks and acts exactly like I expect it to. Well, that's not that surprising because that's a Linux program and you're running Linux. Well, that's true, but now let's install it on your Mac. So here you go. Just copy the image.lena file into a directory there on your Mac. Okay, I'll just follow along on Windows. Now go ahead and open a terminal window. Just click this icon here. Okay, and type in lena space dash s then enter to start Lena. Okay, okay now type in Lena space minus I space image dot Lena and enter and you'll install the image program. So that's not that hard. So it's installed now? Yeah. <laughs> now let's run it. So just type in Lena space image dot Lena. Enter. Wow, it, look, it looks just like a Mac program. Wow. It has the icons all the way at the top of the screen, the red buttons, the green buttons. Wow. That's the same software you were running on your machine. Yeah, it's the same executable. 
You know, I know how you feel. It's really amazing. When I was first writing the software, actually, I wrote it in C++ on my Linux machine, but I had to debug it on the Mac. So I went over to the Mac, and I'm debugging it. I finally get it to run, and I look at it running on the Mac, and I'm like, you know, I'm programming on a Mac. It's like, I've never even used a Mac. It's really cool. Looks just like a Windows program, too. Wow. It doesn't usually work that way, right? You can't run the same software on all these different operating systems. Well, that's part of our magic, especially the part about it looking like a Mac application on the Mac and like a Linux application on Linux. So now you guys are running open source software on your Mac and your Windows computers, which is really great. That's what Lena is all about, is about bringing all of the open source applications that have been written for Unix and letting people just run and people like Eric and Bill run them on Mac and on Windows. That's great. So someday will all my software be open source? <laughs>